Families and friends, you're looking at one of the luckiest men alive right now. Fergus Ferrelli, a 26-year-old construction worker from Ireland. And this gentleman was bitten on his penis by a black widow spider that left him with a two-inch gash on it. We're going to talk about this new story here that we are talking about here at Deep Roots TV. Greetings, greetings, and salutations to all nation. Ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm Rastafari. Greetings, greetings. Yes, season, greetings. That red subscribe button. Hey, Deep Roots, man. How you guys doing out there? We're having a good time, man. We're running for Fort Lauderdale Beach. Here at Deep Roots TV, you see the black widow on the screen. Well, a construction worker who claimed he was bitten by a black widow spider on his penis has said he feared the doctors would have to cut it all off. Fergus Ferrelli, Shercock, in country of Cavan. Now, this is a place located in Ireland. He said he woke up to pain January 7th with a cyst the size of a marble on his member. The 26-year-old went to the hospital three days later when he, the swelling did not go down. The lump became the size of a golf ball. Right, idiot. I waited a weird pun. It turned purple and caused a burning pain. He was prescribed a cocktail of drugs and spent four days in the hospital after doctor reportedly found black widow venom in his blood test. Mr. Ferrelli worried he would lose his penis, although after specialists said they had never seen anything like this before. Black widows are one of the most poisonous spiders in the world, but they are rarely found in Ireland or England. It is often mistaken for the far less dangerous false widow spider, which is commonly found in the home of all nations. The false widow is venerous, but its bite is not as bad as the black widow. It's more compared to a wasp's thing. Well, wasp thing hot, especially when you get it there. The rare case of the injury came became infected. Now, people, I don't want to make light of this, but a black widow biting you on a private part must be very, very painful. Now, like I said, the pain became extreme. Mr. Ferrelli said, when I woke up, I saw this lump. I had no idea what it was, but it got larger and larger. As day passed, after three days, I went to A&E in so much pain. It felt like it was burning. I couldn't believe it when they found the venom of black widow spider in my blood. I hadn't even never heard of this before. I was in the hospital for days and all kinds of drips after the giant lump burst. That was when I thought. I would lose my penis all together, Ferrelli said. Now, people, imagine you're there at your place and you get a look of sting and you feel a look of bite and you wake up and when you go to the hospital, the doctor tell you something named a black widow spider. Now, black widow spiders are feared for a long time due to its toxic poisoning. Guarantee an average of 2,000 people a year are bitten by insects in the United States. They are incredibly rare in the UK because of its colder climate. Mr. Ferrelli had been staying at his mother's house in Ulster, and when he woke up January 7th, he noticed this marble-sized lump on his penis. Confused, he initially dismissed it, but over the following days, the lump grew. 
On the third day, his girlfriend, Lindsay Duffy, 21, urged him to visit a &E. They went to Caven General Hospital, but doctors there insist he needs to see a specialist and was quickly transported, transferred to the larger Baymont Hospital in Dublin. He said, I had no idea what it was. When I first went to the hospital, the doctors didn't know either. It was this constant burning pain and lumps keep getting bigger and bigger. To make matters worse, just hours after arriving in A&E, the huge cyst burst and leave a giant hole where it had been once Rastafari. With doctors reporting struggling to work out what had caused the injury, he's saying that in the hospital where he was hooked up to different IVs, probably about four different IVs, antibiotics, because they were afraid of infection. Mr. Ferrelli said that the doctor kept coming in and out, taking blood samples and have swabs. It was like I was, you know, in some kind of spectacle. I was laying in the bed. I couldn't walk or move even because of the pain. But it was not until several days had passed that the doctor told me that I had been bitten by a spider. After the blood test came back, he said, Mr. Ferrelli claimed that his test samples contained venoms of black widow spider, a dangerous spider found worldwide. While their venoms are rarely fatal, a bite can cause muscle cramps and pain so intense it's compared to an appendix or a heart attack. They are incredibly rare in the UK, unable to climatize to the colder weather, damp condition. The false widow are often mistaken for them. Mr. Farrell said that the doctor told him how lucky he was and it, that it burst while he was in the hospital because it could have gotten infected. He could have become one of the few people whom have died from such a bite. He said, I got to told I he said I got told I would probably have ended up dead if it hadn't burst in the hospital because it would likely have been infected they said that the venom could have spread to my blood and given me blood poison but Mr. Ferrello was treated quickly and dismissed apparently to, and patched up to protect the wound and a few hours after it burst he recalled the pain subsided four days later he was discharged Although he continued having to take five ta tablets a day for a month, Mr. Furley has been left with a two-centimeter scar was at the location where the actual wound have to heal. He have returned to work this week. He said that the pain didn't ease properly until he had went home for a few weeks. I'm up and walking again, but now I could have been so much worse I realized he said I was convinced I would have lost my penis the doctor didn't know any more than I did I've never seen anything like this I've never seen a bite down there so you know I was worried and the doctor was too the pain was unbearable too but look I'm here Looking back at the situation he had, I do find it wee bit funny. Now because it is unusual, but it was really, really scary. I had no idea what damage this spider could do. Now we contacted over there in Dublin, the spokesperson for the Beaumont Hospital, and they said they could not comment on a individual case but they did echo that sentiments that the doctor had and mr ferrelli saying that it is a rare case for someone to be bitten by a black widow spider in that area it appears that the widow did want to get a little touch up she was tired 
of being lonely and you never move towards the thing you are going to take. So Fergus, don't make the widow them stay too long without giving them them thing or they may come get it. And sometimes, you know them girls, they are going nowadays. Some bowing thing them the pan. They may bite your pan it. <laughs> Yo, we're just making a little light of the situation, ladies and gentlemen. I'm reporting a construction worker, Mr. Fergus Ferrelli, 26 years old, from Ireland, was bitten on his private part by a black widow spider, which left him a two centimeter gash on it. He's elated that he got to keep it and happy. He's over the excruciating pain. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rastafari Rice, so you have Deep Roots TV. If this is your first time seeing my channel, I'm asking you to hit that red greetings, subscribe greetings. button and rise the Yes, greetings, and greetings. Time. You know it's Rastafari Rice. Hey, Deep Roots, man. How you guys doing out there? We're having a good Not time, man. We're running for a lot of beat. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, I'm more in happiness. You'll be blessed. You think you're joking. More nappiness nap up the thing rass up the thing